Hi there, this is Vincent. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a real-time dashboard for your team to track business performances. Building a dashboard may sound like a daunting task, however, it's just incredibly easy on that goal. Today, let's create a production-ready business intelligence dashboard that may actually improve your business. Before we dive into the actual application, again, let's get the data right. Let's head to the resources. The first things you see on Echo are the data connectors. Here you have the option to connect data from CSV files, API, databases, and many other places. Feel free to check out our data engineering series to ensure that your data is set up right. Now let's take a look at the sample data sets that we ha already have in place. Let's check out the table called digital ads performance. For this direct connection resource, the data will be updated whenever the data source updates. For replication resources, the automated scheduler uh, will need to be turned on. So now we have the data ready. Let's head to the data app builder. Let's create a blank app here. So the first thing you see here is a page where you can drag all the interactive elements in. Let's drag a chart inside the page first. Let's, of course, select the data source. Let's pick digital ads performance here. And let's pick the column. Let's track channel and impressions. And the chart will be generated almost imme immediately. And now let's create another chart. Again, pick the data source, to the as performance. Now let's track campaign. Now you have two charts. And of course you can switch back and forth um, between different chart style. You can turn into a stack bar, uh, horizontal, horizontal stat bar, a group bar, and many other types. Okay, now let's create a table for your user to reference. And for the table, now your user can see a detailed breakdown of your business performances. Now let's try to place these two charts side by side. Let's go to CSS, go to layout, and change it to inline block. Let's do the same thing for the other charts. Now you have the two, char two charts being placed side by side. Okay, because the underlying data source is a PostgreSQL database, so whenever that database changes, the dashboard will capture all the changes and publish it to your users. So let's try to publish it. Once your app is published, a link will be generated right here. And of course, you can share this application with any of your teammates you want.